Okay, in this video we are going to talk about formula node in WebView. Uh, formula node in WebView is, uh, is an important VI. Uh, I, um, in fact, instead of using a lot of VIs like adding, uh, subtracting, uh, division, multiplying, or many other uh, uh, VIs, we can use a, uh, instead of those, we can use a formula node actually. Sometimes uh, using formula node makes uh, our program uh, more compact and uh, smaller. As you can see uh, in this picture, uh, we can actually write down a formula inside the formula node, a formula or no, actually uh, multiple formulas and we can give inputs the input can be variables uh, or constants and we can have uh, the, uh, the output is calculated based on the formula we give uh, the node Okay, the, there are a lot of functions that we can use inside a formula node. I don't know, sinus, s sine, cosine, and so on. Uh, if you refer to the lab view help, you can find more functions that you can use in the lab view node, uh, formula node you can see some of those functions here in this table okay first I close the previous program I start from the scratch from the beginning first we open up the lab view click on the blank VR press ctrl T to see both uh, pages, block diagram and front panel let's say we want to have this picture here actually uh, want to make a same program first we need some input let's say a numeric control again a numeric control we name it let's say X M and that's enough uh, for the time being. I also need an output. Now output should be oops, output should be an indicator. I put an indicator here. Change the title to Y. Everything's fine here. Okay. Now I want to insert a formula node. Right click on block diagram, programming, structures, and there it is formula node. Drag. Okay. My insert my formula y equals m times x plus b I don't have b here I'll come to that later let's put the semicolon at the end it's not important if you put it or not okay now we need to actually specify the inputs and outputs on this node. I right click on the formula node. I click on add input. Again, add input because I need three inputs. Add input. M, X, B are the inputs. Okay. X. M and B. Same thing here for output. Add output. 
and name it Y because I have it. I have Y here. Okay, I wire the VIs to the corresponding variables. And uh, for B, I simply right click and create constant. I want to uh, actually put a constant. Uh, put a constant here. Let's say ten. Okay, we are done here. Okay, also we need to. Okay. And yeah, we are done. Now, I just want to test something afterwards. Uh, uh, just first run the program. Wait. Do not get confused. Okay, run continuously. Okay, x is zero, n is zero. Therefore, y should be ten. This is correct because zero times zero is zero plus ten is ten. Okay, I change x one. Okay, m is still a zero. Both the, okay, it's correct. I change m to 10 and x 5. We are 2 times 5 plus 10 is 20. Okay, everything uh, works fine. You can put more formulas here and you can have uh, uh, multiple outputs here in this side. And that's it about formula node. But I recommend you. Let's stop here. I want to test just one thing. I see if uh, does does it make any sense if I remove the semicolon? Yeah, okay. Okay, semicolon should be there. Remember that. I I got an error here when I removed this semicolon. Uh, semicolon. Okay, then semicolon should be there. Good to know. That's it. Okay, I was talking. I was saying. Uh, I recommend you uh, to do also an available example in LabVIEW Help. To uh, uh, actually, that example, I show you the example. If you want to uh, actually to see the help for everything, just press Control H. Help appears. Double click on that. I, uh, actually, the uh, some uh, actually. Uh, uh, a short explanation of that VI will appear, but I want to see the example uh, and a specific example for this uh, command for this VI. I click on detail help. Okay, I want uh, I click on the open example. Okay. This is the example I, I was talking about. Let's say the okay. Uh, the block diagram. Yeah, this is the example I um, I wanted to show you. This is a very good example. It's a combination of for loop and also formula node. I recommend you to act, uh, to do this example for your uh, for yourself. Uh, it's not hard. Actually, you already know how to work with uh, uh, for loop, and also you know how to work with uh, uh, formula node. And uh, I just make some comments on this example, so it will be easier for you to do it. Actually, first of all, you you need to make it a little bigger because something can be seen. Okay, this is like. Uh, this sign actually two times uh, two stars actually it means uh, uh, x power 3 or x uh, exponent 3 just know that actually this formula is 
uh, y1 equals x power 3 minus x power 2 plus 5. And about this waveform is in fact is a chart here in this side. I right click on that and show it view as icon. You see, yeah, it's a chart. Build array. Uh, you can import build array from programming array build array. It's there. Okay. And there is nothing uh, more to explain about this example. Yeah, you know already n. Uh, actually, 11, a constant uh, value of 11 is put here. And, ah, this is interesting. For, for, the, uh, for the variable x, actually, in this example, loop iteration is used as the input variable. Actually, change from 0 to 10. And uh, yeah, actually, uh, then uh, I show you when you run the program, the graph is drawn here for the values of 0 to 10 for two uh, equations, y1 and y2. Uh, sorry, y1 is better to say y1 and y2. And yeah, that's it. Do it yourself is a good example actually to do. Oh, sorry.